Hello everybody, welcome back to more Isaac. Today we are going to be checking out the Tiamat Dice, I believe it's pronounced, from Something Wicked. This is an unreleased mod, but I will showcase it nonetheless because this mod will be coming at some point soon. This thing's interesting. A quality 4 dice rerolls items into items from a random pool, but with a random cost. Which means it could reroll it into costing money, it could reroll it into costing health, it could reroll it into costing nothing. It has an entirely random cost, so it's going to be a little wacky. I'm a little uh, upset about that, I'll be honest. I wanted to uh, clear this machine a little bit and get some damage off of that rather than just taking damage to getting hit. But yes, so we'll give this guy a go and see what we can get going on with this dice. We're playing a Samson just because it's been a little while since we've played a Samson. He's a fun little guy. He's a fun little guy. Um, we'll hopefully not die as well. That would be... Uh, most ideal, but we'll see what we got going on in here. First of all, let's see what our item is. Does it want re-rolling? It doesn't. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. I was tempted, but now that I think about it, we can just re-roll our boss item. Remember, it re-rolls into stuff from any pool. So, we could... It's kind of Chaos Dice re-rolling here. This is why it is quality 4, because although the random cost could come with some hefty prices, you can get any item. So, here's to getting Sacred Heart from the very first boss room. Okay, that was slightly sketchy. I'll take a pill here, why not? A little bit of bad gas. Um, ooh, I kind of kind of want that soul heart, to be honest. In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, we'll go back over to our machine here, and we'll give it two more hits. Gives us enough to get our soul heart, and it means we don't need the red hearts as much anymore as well. Cool. But yes, I'm glad to be back on some Isaac. As for the... Um, as for the question of today's episode, what's a dice item in Isaac that you really, really enjoy using? You can be you can you can be a basic boy. You can just say D6. But what's like your go-to? I think pre-patch D1 was always my favorite. Pre-patch D1 was just like so much fun. That that item you could just absolutely break the game off of. I understand why they why they changed it, but it was it was really fun in the state it was in. And obviously. There's the um, Eternal Dice, not Eternal Dice, the, what's it called, the D-Infinity as well. Like, you can't deny the D-Infinity. Really, you're gonna give me a sticky nickel? I guess I'll bomb you then. I guess I'll bomb you. Cool, okay, not bad, not bad. We got some good stuff here. Right, let's see what our boss offers us. I want to try and give uh, get as much Red Hearts as we can as well, so that I can afford to take things when they end up costing money. I do got to be slightly careful with this guy, because, um... I don't have the most HP right now, and I think this guy can one-shot me. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I feel like he can. Luckily, we have a lot of damage, so he wasn't much of a problem at all, really. And we get another absolutely amazing item off the bat. Okay, well, this this is um, an interesting start to a showcase, let's be honest. Um, you don't normally expect to get two items in which you don't want to reroll. But what we will do is we'll go and reroll the shop item, just because that could give us something that costs red hearts or something. So let's see. There you go. We rerolled it, and we got a free item on our first one. So pretty nice. We got Worm Friend there. So we still got to use it on the first floor, which I'm pretty happy about. And we'll keep on moving down. Keep on going and see what we can see. Okay. Yeah, Worm Friend is actually very, very good. I really like Worm Friend. Unfortunately, obviously, our damage has gone down quite a bit um, since that's that first floor, because we took full damage on that first floor and got all of our thingies going. Increased chance of tinted treasure rooms spawning. Ooh. That's, that's potentially pretty good. Potentially pretty good. Obviously, it depends on if we get tinted treasurable items, to be honest. That's, like, the main thing here. Okay, these guys do die in a single hit, so let's, uh, take them out first. It's kind of nice that Worm Friend can automatically kill them as well for us. I like that. Good, good, good. Then we got you there. I'd like to get some red hearts going if we can. Ooh, a little hug. Thank you. Hey, a morbid heart. Don't mind that. We've got a crane game there, but it's not a particularly amazing item in the crane game, so I'm not too enthused. But yeah, I'm definitely glad to be back on some Isaac and trying out some new stuff. I just wanted to showcase an item that I've 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 I've, I've like seen it in my runs a good couple of times. Um, ooh, explosion immunity. Um, that's pretty good. We're getting a lot of really good items here. Um, we've got a very red themed run at the minute as well. 
But yeah, um, it's an item I've seen a couple of times in my regular runs, but never really got a good sort of showcase run of. I've never really had it for long enough for it to be like a really, really good option. Ooh, hello. Um, requires stats. Ooh, that's kind of sketchy. He takes away stats. I mean, I don't have a lot of stats right now, so... And one of my main ones is damage. I don't think I want to be giving away my damage, so... I think I'll be, uh... I think I'll be ignoring him for now, unfortunately. If I had more stats, I'd, I'd definitely play around with it, but... It, it could absolutely ruin a few of my stats right now. Um... Okay, let's see what the boss room's got going on for us here. Now, Worm Friend just did me an absolute solid there. I kind of find it funny that we can knock out drops the enemies while they're hit by Worm Friend. How did the Worm Friend miss there? I don't even know how that's plausible. There you go. We're good, we're good. And we get this, which I think I will reroll. And we get the Mark, which I don't know if we can afford. Technically, we can. Okay, we'll take that. Um, and then the Devil Deal. Obviously, Devil Deals aren't going to be the best for us here. Ooh. I just gave him some damage. I'm going to blow you up so that doesn't happen again. I kind of forgot that I have to throw my bombs. Oops. Ooh, what the hell? What does this take us? Whoa! Okay. I don't know if that's intentional or not. I don't know if that's intentional or not. But either way, I'll accept it. Come on. Die, big boy. We can keep this ghosty alive, can't we? I mean, I just took a hit on the noggin there to protect my ghost friend, so... Hopefully we get some health out of this eventually as well, because our health is now pretty darn low. I'll take a pill. Oh, wait, what? I X-laxed and it got rid of one of the, um... I'm confused. Oh my. I X-laxed, and it got rid of one of the portals. Okay, it's back now, good. Uh, pushy orbits around Isaac and protects him from incoming projectile spawns. A random heart every floor dies after taking too much damage. I'm gonna take that. Random heart every floor seems potentially useful, considering we are on one life left. Oh, that ghost is so dead. I did manage to get him somehow. Was not expecting that. Okay, let's be cautious here. I really want to get this item. I would very much like to have this item. Good thing is what we can do is we can just do this. Oh, you really get to get a fly in the way there. That was kind of rude. Ooh, a golden bomb. And there's a half soul heart. So we've already got one of the things we were asking for. This is horrible. Okay, good. Wow, that was uh, that, that went really well. And we did get our item, which is going to be Eden's Soul. Unfortunately, it starts with no charge, so it's pretty useless for us. <laughs> That's a bit of a shame. We don't have a reroll for it either. Damn. Goodbye, Eden's Soul. If only it started charged, then we'd really have something cooking. But sadly, we do not. Broken Murdom, pretty decent. Um, I think we'll buy Broken Murdom here. Thank you, thank you. Okay. But yeah, we got the pact out of it for our first one, which is pretty interesting. I'm hoping we get more health along the way. Let's go down to this path here, why not? Um, I'm hoping we get more health along the way so that we can take more deals if they cost money. Oh, to be fair, actually, I kind of didn't really think about this. But I've got Golden Bomb. I should really be having a little look for the secret room here. Oh, I keep forgetting I've got to throw them now. It's actually better to throw them, in my opinion. It's just hard to sort of release that muscle memory. <laughs> um, okay. Where's the actual secret room? Here, maybe? No. Here, maybe? There you go. Child's leash isn't going to make too much of a difference to us, but I'll take the key, thank you. And we did get a reroll. Um, I don't think we have anything to reroll right now. I will gamble on the crane game, on one pull at the crane game to see if I can get that item just so I can reroll it. Damn. Okay, good. We've got a bunch of bombs back there. We are good to go. 
let's get them go. Okay, we're going th going uh, to the alt path. We've got good HP and we've got good um, consumables and stuff. So I think alt path for a little bit of fun, a little bit of difference. Got to remember I don't have golden bombs now. I kind of threw that bomb just because I saw that gas there and I was like, yay. But then I realized, yeah, I actually don't have golden bombs right now. So not quite as uh, not quite as useful without golden bombs. Although I still have a decent amount of bombs to work with, so I don't have to worry about it too much. I do like the half soul heart champion drop. That is very nice. And freezing enemies is really good. We have a lot of red hearts about. It's a shame that we don't have a, a blood donation machine or something on this floor. But we might get one. You never know. You never know. Oh, dude. I love knockout drops so much. They're so good. Is there enemies up here as well? What's, what's, what's going on with the rest of this room? Ah, there you go. We'll crack this open. We'll give that a roll. There you go. We got false PhD. Lovely. And we got the Knight of Diamonds. Spawns 12 coins worth of pickups on use. Lovely stuff. That's pretty good. One second. Apologies about that. Right, let's carry on. But yeah, like I think shop re-rolling is one of the best. Also, Phantom Pains does give us uh, our damage stacks. It counts as a, a hit. That's really good. Um, yeah, I think the shop is the best possible re-roll because you're always going to re-roll away from money cost. You may re-roll back into money cost, but it's always going to cost at least the same as it already costs, and it could cost less. And obviously, there's so many potential other items it can re-roll into. So I think I think shop is always going to be a target to re-roll with this thing. It makes shops incredibly viable. And I like that. And I like that a lot. Even though we did have enough money to buy the item. But false PhD, definitely better, I think. Um, I do quite like it. Even with the uh, the bad pill effects, I think it can work. Just realized my chair's leaned back a little bit. I apologize if I was a bit quiet for the start of this episode. I wasn't quite leaned into the mic as much as normal. My, my chair... I, I always rest my chair back when I play like other games. I've been playing uh, Baldur's Gate. And... Um, it's, uh, it wasn't set right for the recording. I've been really enjoying Baldur's Gate again. I, I, I don't know why I stopped playing it before, but I started playing it again. I've been playing it with a few mods um, for like some modded subclasses that are normally in real D&D. And some of them are really interesting. I've got like this blood wizard going on with Gale, and it, it's pretty awesome. Um, mud pie. Smelted worm and automatically smelts other worms. I think we're going to reroll that. See, this is, this is where things can go slightly awry. So that is a random cost, but that is 56. But this one is uh, 12, so we'll take a look at what that is. Unfortunately, it was a book, which we're not going to take. Book of the Cosmos, but we did get Brainworm. Hoi! <laughs> Lovely stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, so there is obviously the chance there of, of situations like that where something will re-roll into just an absolutely absurd cost. Um... That's always a slight risk with this, but there's got to be some downside to it. It can't just be full-on amazing. I mean, I'd like it to be, but it can't be. Okay. Luckily, this boss has been absolutely destroyed. We unfortunately, took a little bit of damage there, but as I said, our health is actually looking pretty good, and we're hoping for an angel deal here anyways. Oh, uh, it was meant to explode, that guy, but it didn't. Okay, uh, we will take Mum's suppository. There should be a damage up overall. Um, and x lax obviously we don't care about. We'll carry on down the regular path. I could keep going on the alt path, but I think we'll carry on down regular path and just sort of duck into the alt path if we feel like it. And see what other rerolls we can get going on here. Next item room. Oh, the soul hearts are lovely. Luda, you say? Luda, you say? How intriguing. I do like a Luda run every now and again. Whirling Leech here is pretty good. I actually, this is kind of a weird room here. So I've got to bait this guy into shooting. Okay, actually having knockout drops made that way easier than it was supposed to be. <laughs> Whirling Leech, pretty good because that gives us some HP. Um, Ludo though. Do we want to take Ludo? I, I actually think it's not a bad item. But our shot speed isn't insane. It's, it's okay. It does sort of increase the complexity of the run, especially with knockout drops. Now, I think I think we'll re-roll it. We, will, we want to try and showcase this uh, this active item as much as possible anyways. Although, we probably want to re-roll the shop first. I really hate that I didn't just run straight away there. That was, yeah, bound to happen. 
I kind of forgot I had Brainworm for a minute there. I do want to up my range a little bit, because Brainworm with this amount of range isn't exactly uh, doing much. We did get a battery there, so I will go back and... Yeah, you've always got to run straight away there, otherwise you're going to get... Oh, no way! Okay, my bad. I'm, I'm honestly going to uh, give myself a charge, because I'm just stupid and I want to reroll this. Um, what is it? Debug 8? Yeah. Oops. Right, there you go. And we get Tumor Head, which is very expensive, unfortunately. Um, I would actually really like to grab that, so we'll see if we end up getting it by the end of this floor, but that's quite a tall order. That's quite a tall order. That's a lot and a lot of money for us to, uh, to grab in a sh potentially short amount of time here, so we'll see if the game allows for it. We'll see. Hopefully stuff. I mean, there's, there's part of the way there, baby. It's part of the way there. Okay, these two are going to be slightly annoying. Okay, actually, not too bad at all. Thought they were going to take a few more, uh, a few more waves of hits than that. Dude, honestly, knockout drops is just glorious right now. Two percent chance of firing a tier. Ooh, that'd be really, really, really nice. I think, but um, I'm sticking to my guns here. I'm sticking to my guns. I'm going to check this out for secret room, just in case. I want to try see if I can get into my shop for free, considering I don't have a key currently. And obviously, as we've established, the shop is very valuable to us. So. We did get another charge, so th at this time we could, like, oh, wait a minute, I don't need to go through here. We could re-roll um, our item in our item room to try and get something that doesn't cost an insane amount of money. Uh, but I think we're better off trying to get into our shop and re-rolling that, as we've established prior. I mean, there you go. Gets us into our shop. We get two items here, so we get two. One of them costing quite a lot. The other one spawned an orbiting knife familiar, which deals heavy contact damage, will oscillate a distance from the player. Let's give that a go. Seems interesting. Okay, that's that's actually a decent distance, and it does heavy damage. Ah, and it kind of does like a figure of eight movement. So it's a little bit harder to hit with because it's a little bit a little bit more odd, a little bit more peculiar in the way that it travels. But I think this could be pretty good. This is also another one from Something Wicked as well. Good. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. Lovely few keys, but it does look like we're unfortunately not going to be getting, um, not going to be getting much in the case of ways to buy our item, which is a shame. Just a shame. I'm going to try and use this, uh, this little scimitar, whatever you want to call it, this little scythe, um, on our boss, see what sort of damage it does. It says, it said heavy contact damage, and I'm, I'm curious what the, uh, what the mod developer classes as heavy contact damage. Curious to see if it if it lives up to my standards of heavy. My my standards of heavy is pre-repentance sack dagger. That's heavy contact damage right there. Probably won't be quite that good. Okay, it's 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 a little hard to use. I've already taken two hits. The way that it oscillates is uh is a little bit peculiar. Um I'm gonna re-roll again. Overhealing charges, filling this bar, grants an empty heart container. Let's give that a go. That only takes one hit away from us. Okay, so we can overheal with red hearts, which sounds pretty interesting. Obviously, we have to fill the red hearts we already have first, so that'll take a little bit of time. But I kind of like the idea. And as I said, with this active, I just want to keep re-rolling everything to see what sort of wacky stuff we can get. Uh, we've, we've already had some uh, interesting pulls from, like, the Devil Deal and stuff. I mean, we got the Pact from a boss item. It did cost us health, obviously. Um, Unprime Gigabomb. Thank you, I guess. Okay. Oh, my God. Get knocked back to where you came from, boy. Oh, dude, our range sucks. <laughs> our range is so bad. Here we got a red heart. Whereabouts is it? It's all the way around there. Okay. So we've got to go get this. And now, from now on, as long as we don't lose any red hearts, all the red hearts we get will go into overcharging that China heart and give us more heart containers. I think it'll probably take four or five. I don't, I don't reckon it'll be cheap. But it'll still be useful. And in here we've got the guillotine. Oh, the guillotine. That's... An item that I quite like for the stats, but I, I can't bring myself to take because I just hate it every time I take it. So that'll also be a reroll for us here. Wow, these spiders are uh, a little bit tricky to see in these rooms. More keys is lovely. 
We've just about got a charge ready. Honestly, these little leeches we've got hanging around with us. Doing a great job. They're killing stuff like the moment it gets near, near me. Right. What are you going to cost us this time? That's just a red heart. Unfortunately, though, it is an active item. We'll try and come back and re-re-roll that. Um, just to see what we can get. Maybe I should have started myself with a battery so I could, like, overcharge a little bit. But yeah, how have we not got a range up yet? Oh, I forgot I had Gigabomb. <laughs> I mean, we got the secret room. I was just trying to bomb that guy. I wasn't trying to Gigabomb him. Um, yeah. Ooh, hello. Good old Grotto Beast. Unfortunately, this guy is killing my little minions. Didn't expect that. Missed with the last, the last one there, but... A little friend here might do some good damage for us. We shall see. Pet peeve, I'll take him. Why not? It's looking like we potentially will be able to... What in the hell happened there? You launched that guy at me at lightning speed. That was something I was not expecting. So we're going to need some more health here soon. Health is getting a little bit difficult. I mean, I've been spending a lot of it, so I kind of understand why. Okay. I never really understand if this pet peeve guy... Does he, um... Actually target enemies or just to move around the room randomly. I've never really been able to figure it out It's brainworm 2 electric boogaloo <laughs> I don't know why I'm not sure why there's two uh, brainworms there, but hey her It's a shame if you pick up a second trinket of the same one it should just make them into a gold one It should just combine them although I don't know if golden brainworm does anything actually Oh, double luck penny. That's very nice. Um, I will reroll because there's two in here. We got Mum's wig. Very nice. I'll buy that as well. Unfortunately, no battery, so we can't re-reroll our item room at the moment, which I'd very much like to do. Um, I should probably bomb you just for a little bit more money, potentially. Didn't get any. In fact, to be fair, I reckon Pound of Flesh would actually be a pretty good item for us. Um, because... With Pound of Flesh, the ones that cost... As long as you have decent money, the ones that are costing regularly costing you hearts would instead cost you money. Which could be pretty useful. Obviously, you'd have to have a decent income of money to make that work. Which, at the minute, we really don't. So, for us specifically, it might not be the best. But with this item, especially if you have, like I said, good income, I can see it being potentially very, very good. Now, are we going to get another charge? Likely not. But we'll, we'll, we'll give it our best shot. Hey, there's some overhealing starting. Kind of forgot about that for a little while there. Easy. We got nine lives. See, now nine lives is an interesting one. Because nine lives, I think I'm going to take it. Because it gives, it does remove one heart for now. But it gives us some a bit more potential in the future. Does look like we're going to get another charge here. Lovely. It gives it more potential because now we can, like, go down to zero health when taking a deal. Which I think is going to be potentially pretty useful. But yeah, we are going to get another charge here, which is slightly unexpected. A trap room here. Um, I think I'm just going to go straight back to my item room here. We could go for re-rolling the boss room, I guess. But the boss room, even if it's a range upgrade, I want it. <laughs> so I think it's better off re-rolling this. Hey, we got George. I love George. George here is a range increase, for one. But now when we enter special rooms, uh, it opens up a red room as well. Which, a little bit late in the game to get it, because we've only really got one more floor of uh, proper special rooms. But it'll still be useful, I think. And I think it does work on like some of the wound floors and stuff. But we do have more range now, so finally Brain Worm is coming into its own a little bit. Dude, that scythe just absolutely demolished him. Wow. Um, and we get, unfortunately, not the greatest items here. What I should have done here, realistically, is... Um, is rerolled these guys. I don't know why I didn't think about that. That would have been the ideal situation there. 
I mean, I'll, 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 I'll grab these two anyways and just, why not? Dude, if you get the scythe to hit, it just absolutely destroys. It's a bit, it's a bit janky to hit, but god damn, is it good. Well, half a heart off of, um, filling this up. But anyways, let's go down to the next floor. So far, I think we've, we've gotten a pretty good amount of value out of this dice. We've got some pretty interesting rerolls. We haven't had an angel item yet, though. That's what I've been hoping for. Like, a proper good angel item. Rerolled from, like, the shop pool or something would be... Would really show the value of this item. Especially if it came out at zero cost. Now, that would be truly beautiful. But we'll see if that ends up being the case. We're probably going to get a greed shop this floor anyways, unfortunately. We're about due for one. Judas's tongue. Golden Judas's tongue. Interesting. Mmm. I don't know if Golden Jesus' Tongue does anything. Brainworm's so good, but considering considering the price uh, gouging that we've got going on here, I think I'm going to take this. Like, I love Brainworm, and everyone loves Brainworm, but I think under the scenarios of this run, it potentially makes more sense to take this, just because there's a potential of the price has been higher. I also did take a bit of a stupid hit there. Um, ooh, interesting. Well, this is a heart container, so I think we'll be taking that, thank you. Unfortunately, Siren's Call is a little bit on the pricier side. <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe it's not worth it. Brainworm is so very good. I don't know, what do you think? I'm not sure now. I'm not sure. I've I've knocked myself. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stick with Brimworm. I think it's just too good not to. Like the price the price thing is only gonna affect two heart deals, which if it isn't even gonna be that common, so it's like it's too niche, I think. Brimworm is just all round amazing. Good. Eternal heart there, we'll leave that for now. No, thank you. Yeah, I've been struggling for money this whole time, so... Oh, but the game giveth, though. The game do giveth. And we got our first red room here. Unfortunately, it does not lead into the uh, ultra secret, but... Good nonetheless. Look, Penny there, lovely. I think I will re-roll this, unfortunately, into a very high cost item there. So we're getting a little unlucky now with the with the fact that things are costing money. It's not always the case as we've seen. But you can get unlucky and obviously the price can can be a little gouged. It can be a little gouged. But that's kind of the downside of this item. Ooh, hello. How how did those two not hit? Pet Peeve just got in the way of my bomb. How dare you, Pet Peeve. Thank God I have a lot of bombs. Dry Baby. We'll just take Dry Baby as the best. Now, a library is interesting. A library is mighty intriguing to me. So if we get the four book library. Oh, boy. We also got that there. We got a two book library. Oh, really? That was stupid. <laughs> I thought I was going to get three soul hearts from that. I did not, because I am dumb. Okay, we'll come back. That's definitely our next reroll target. Two for the price of one. Why not? Wait, did that, that library didn't open up a red room? I think it's because it's only a small room, is why. Okay, that enemy just instantly died. I'm hoping we can get another charge here. Oh, actually, yes, we can. There's an L-shaped room right here. L-shaped room is some guaranteed charge for us. Bit of an annoying room here, but shouldn't be too bad. Pagalas. Right, let's go back and whack a reroll on that library. What can you give us, game? What can you give us? 
We got the token back. Interesting. We got superiority, which I actually think is really, really good. But again, very expensive. Getting Steam Sale on a run like this would be would be pretty mega. Right. So we got a token there. Let's try and get ourselves a bit more money, shall we? And see if we can afford superiority. It's unlikely. I'll buy that. In case we need to re-roll again. Lovely stuff. One second. Right, let's keep it going. Yeah, I doubt we're going to get enough money to get superiority there. But the token... Ooh, there you go. There's a charge. Didn't actually mean to take that. My bad. Could have waited on it. Interesting. So we've got the red room here. A hey, ultra secret room. Lovely stuff. See if we get anything decent. Do not like the way that you're playing this game. Wow. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's figure out what we want to do here. Oh my lord. Okay, so we don't want that because it takes over nine lives. This is tricky. This is tricky. We've got plenty of things to play around with, but not. I'm not really sure where I want to go next. I think the token bag is definitely a good take. We'll take the token bag. And then I think we'll go and reroll probably just the kidney bean. But it doesn't, at this point, it doesn't actually matter which one we reroll, really. i just doing it for, like, the sake of doing it. We got the loaded dice. Very intriguing. It's an active item, which is a shame, but the loaded dice could potentially be pretty, pretty interesting. One second. So, unfortunately, we don't have the health to even get that. I was thinking maybe I'd just give myself the school bag so that I could play around with that as well, because it's fun. But I don't even have the HP to grab it anyways, so... It's not really something we can mess around with, even if we wanted to. I think this has been a reasonably successful floor. Unfortunately, a few of our rerolls were a little bit poo. We didn't quite get what we wanted in terms of the rerolls, because they were all money-based. But it swings and roundabouts. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. I think we've been fairly lucky earlier on that we can't expect to get lucky constantly. We'll grab that. And we'll hope that we have a better look on the next floor. We'll hope that this floor brings us some beautiful, bountiful gifts. Oh my god. Pet peeve, get in there. Kill them all. Oh, there you go. There's some heart containers for us. Lovely. We finally got one. Okay. Now, I'm going to... Let me grab this first. Pop this. Three of I'm going to leave that dime there. Wait until I get a token from my token bag and then come back and grab the dime. Just so we have a bit more money to work with if we do re-roll into money. Another heart container there. See, this, this, this heart of China... If you get the right sort of setup or the right sort of rooms, room drops, should I say, it can be very lucrative. Now, I don't know how far we are off a token. I think it's once every 12 rooms, so we might be a little ways off of it yet. Yeah, I think we're still a little bit off of it. But we'll keep playing the game and hopefully, hopefully it gives us one. And we don't accidentally pick it up. <laughs> That's the bigger thing that I'm worried about. Seems very me to end up doing that. No token yet. Yeah, I'm actually kind of glad this is all a dead end, though, because now we're closer to the room. We don't have to run as far back. <laughs> Dude, this scythe, when it hits, boy, it hits. There's that token. Okay, so we go back over here. We grabbeth our dime. We grab nothing else. Make sure to touch nothing else. And we grab a token. And we get an additional dime. That's what I was looking for, baby. That's what I was looking for. Because now we have a good bit more money to play around with. When it comes to re-rolling items. Because 40 is more than we've ever had. Now give me the card that duplicates my money. Then I'll be really happy. More red hearts to go to the red heart pool. The 
China heart. Still killing it for us. We've not really gained any fire rate this entire run, have we? Again, I'll leave that nickel there. In case actually, to be fair, no, I'm not going to bother with that. I was going to leave it until we get a dime, but I actually don't think we're going to end up getting a dime, so... A dime, sorry. Uh, you know what I mean. I don't think we're going to end up getting another Turk on this floor. Good. Right, and boss item, will you be re-rolled? This is another heart container. Yes, it is. Beautiful. This thing's amazing. I love it. It's kind of smart that it gives you a heart container that's unfilled, though, so it makes it slightly harder to get your next heart container after that. I like it. Okay, we're good. The pony is definitely re-rollable here. Um, Purgatory. Okay, so the, the pony's more re-rollable, but uh, let me just check. Do we even get an item from killing this guy first off? I think we do. This is the uh, the third angel. Tis modded this. Yeah, so we get two items here. I'd rather reroll two than one. We got Mongo cells again, which is actually pretty interesting. We have some stuff that could work with it, especially um, a hollow poop. But unfortunately, it costs goddamn 92. We'll take this. Um. I'm probably not going to get enough charge to reroll you, unfortunately. Although, actually saying that, I'm not going to give up because there is a mob trap room. And there's the potential chance that the mob trap room, plus whatever rooms we've got to the right here, could give us enough. It's not super likely, but there's a chance. I don't want to give up. I think, Like I said, I want to use this, this uh, item as much as I possibly can. I think we're going to be one room off, you know. I think we're going to be one room off is just frustrating. The secret room could help us out. Give me a battery. In a child? I mean, I guess. It's a speed up as well, so we'll take it. Oh, wait, it's not a speed up until we revive, is it? My bad. Right. Let's do this. Oh, really? It's a room where I have to take damage. And I took two hearts of damage. God damn it. Damn, you are one charge off. How dare you, game? How dare you? See, I was going to go into the cash room, but now I've taken so much damage, I don't think I can. Right. Unfortunately, this floor has bested us. We shall leave it and go to the next. Unless, 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 unless. Damn you. Wait, red room. Yes! Success! We did it. You watch us get an absolutely terrible item or something that's completely unaffordable now. No, that's actually really, really good. We can overuse our active item now, which I should have done back in that challenge room there. But we can overuse our active item now um, a number of times. Dude, that fire is so bad. We've also got a ton of money now as well. Dude, my leeches are amazing. See, I just I just saw there that, that trinket that was in that last room. Potentially pretty good for us. We take a little look at it. I know we've got brain worm, but taking a bad pill spawns another random pill. All our pills are bad. And with false PhD, that could be kind of amazing. Unfortunately, though, I haven't really been seeing pills as I got false PhD. They've kind of been eluding us. Good. Hope we can find items pretty sharpish. 
Oh, that was silly. That's why we got nine lives, though. It allows us to be a bit silly. Double the bombs, lovely. Honestly, having Worm Friend has been pretty goddamn valuable as well on this run. Oh my god, he's coming at speed. He's coming in at high speed. I love the fact that those little nubbins count as projectiles that uh, can be glitched by Broken Murdom. Even though they're actually enemies. <laughs> oh, wow. That was uh, that was me being silly there. But got, got to remember, the good thing is we have this, uh, this heart thing so we can build up more red hearts. Dude, these, these guys are too speedy. Too goddamn speedy. Okay, we've got a token there. We'll hold back on taking the token until we find some HP, I think. I'll be able to throw my bombs. Feels so satisfying. Way easy to do damage with them as well. Get some mini Isaacs. Ah, oh, that was such a bad hit. The room is not even over, goddammit. Do I really want to token this? I mean, it's it's silly to, but realistically, yeah. <laughs> Pretty big waste of a token there, but oh well. Right, what you got for a sunshine? Fortunately, no items likely. Wow, missed a bomb there, unfortunately. Ah, Broken Murdom is amazing against this phase. Wow. Broken Murdom just deleted literally every single thing she tried to fire. Okay, unfortunately, no Devil Deal or anything there, so we didn't get any additional items to reroll, which is a bit of a shame. And we are going into this floor with pretty, pretty low HP overall. Okay, my brainworm keeps brainworming into the wrong things. If you could chill out on that, that'd be great. I'm trying to use my bombs when I can, because I'm in a pretty dire s situation. Lovely. Ooh, um, I think this is worthwhile. I was hoping for an item, but hey her. I was really hoping for something I could reroll. I think, yeah, our biggest thing letting us down has just been our fire rate on this run's been pretty abysmal the entire time. We've got some other really good items. We've managed to like create a pretty fun and interesting run here with uh, what we've gained. And our damage is okay. It's not the best. All right. I think we've just got unlucky with um, with active items, especially. We've rerolled into like three or four active items. There's a few passive items we could have had that we don't. Okay, I can't actually throw a bomb at that guy. He's got like an aura around him stopping me. Bad gas? What's going on? I can... I can hear banging. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I think my next-door neighbor's doing some construction or something. Get ourselves up to 99 cents. That, that way we can afford literally any item that gets thrown at us. Just in case it decides to throw a few. We're up to 95, so you guarantee the next item's gonna cost like 97 or something like that, isn't it? <laughs> Oh god, the herming shots are a bit too much for me at this morning hour. I'm not fully prepared. I'm really hoping we're going the right way here. Ah, oh, you bastard. Ah, oh, you bastard. Okay, luckily I don't have to go back in that room. <laughs> I don't have to and I won't. Oh, thank you, Penny. I wasn't expecting that. Hey, there you go. We are now up to the pre prerequisite 99 cent. I've got, I've not got any bombs left, damn. I'm all out of bombs. I was hoping to blow that guy up, try to get ahead of the keeper, reroll that bad boy, or get coupons, something like that. Some, just something that's not super useful for me now that I can reroll. Actually, to be fair, actually, no. If you got a school bag, coupon would be amazing with this. There's, there's just so many cost associations where they'll, it'll be the only item in the room. That's, 
That's something I haven't thought about. Obviously, it requires two active items, so you need to have a pretty specific scenario to make that work. But the the, the fact that the coupon could be so good is mm, it's kind of spicy. It's kind of spicy, you know. These guys are definitely gonna end up killing me. Chill yourselves out, fellas. Chill yourselves out. Oh my god. I like these enemies where like the, the reverse. I don't think these can give items, but I'll give it a go. They can! Holy shit. Okay, a 71 cent spider mod. As much as I have the money, I don't really think that's worth our money. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Thank god we uh, we got nine lives, because not having the best of times here. Hey, a heart container. Beautiful stuff. Exactly what we needed. Just what the doctor ordered. As long as we can actually fill it and then keep it. Otherwise, it's not much use to us. Red room. Oh, we don't have any bombs. God damn it. Could really do with a few bombs round about now, game. Really do with a few bombs. Darn you. Oh, the knockout drops are saving me right now. Absolutely saving me. Oh, that was close. Right, this boss is going to be rough. This boss is going to be rough, rough, rough. I don't have the hearts to... Yeah, that was... Okay, at least we got a holy poop in there now, which might make it easier. Okay, the holy poop disappeared immediately. That's uh, a little upsetting. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, my leeches. My leeches! Holy damn! This is the, this is the best chance we're gonna get. The leeches just absolutely decimated him. I want to get in there with my little scythe, but I'm I'm very worried that I'll just get hit and ruin this potentially amazing attempt and the only amazing attempt we're gonna get. Worm friend, thank you. Keeping him at bay. I think he might have won that for us, worm friend. Not quite. Not quite. We're good, we're good. Wow, that was that was kind of sketch. That was kind of sketch. Oh, my lord. Right, we got a four-pronged reroll here, potentially. So let's see what's what's good here, shall we? I mean, belly jelly's a must. Peppermint's pretty good here, but the other two we can reroll. That's pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good too. We finally got a fire rate increase. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We yeah, have Jelly Belly for some defense and Peppermint for some damage. Both very, very nice for us right now. I'm just annoyed that uh, the False PhD wasn't better for us. I would have hoped that False PhD would have been a really good way for us to gain some damage, but it just wasn't. Um, both of those are re-rollable. Hoff won't give us any health or anything. Whoa, this guy has... Lots of HP. Okay. Not too bad with this guy. All the... The little horns are like pausing off screen and stuff, which isn't ideal. We're setting up plenty of peppermint fires, I like that. Peppermint fires also destroy shots as well, which is another huge bonus of them. And they, they, they like persist inside of enemies, which means that it can create a fire inside an enemy and then destroy the shots it creates immediately, which is pretty overpowered in my book. Burner baby, we'll just take that. Right, let's go and reroll those two items. We get ourselves something for free. Uh, plus one block, broken heart. Ooh, okay, this is pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. 
take a bunch of burn hearts for the health that I don't have to gain an absolute ton of stats. Especially like in the fire rate and damage department, we have uh, bolsters that bol bolstered ourselves pretty heavily. We like that. We got conjoined here as well, which with um, brainworm is is pretty good. Right at the end here, we've managed to we've managed to really pull it back and create something pretty special. What's this got in it? Punching bag, nothing special. Right, now we're just hoping we can make our way straight to the boss without any fuss. Shoot the whoop. Tough as nails doesn't really do much for us right now. Hey, boss straight away, lovely. Plus 10 bombs, actually kind of useful for us. But yeah, conjoined with the amount of fire we're producing right now, this guy can barely hit us. Like, even if he tries, he can't. Also, knockout drops. We've got 9.3 luck now, so knockout drops, we're just firing just fists. So it's all good, baby. It's all good. Beautiful stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this little showcase run. And yes, I'll see you guys in the next one.